This is Eugene Pendrikovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. To, today we have a Samsung Chromebook 2 11.6 inch laptop with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Samsung Chromebook 2 11.6 inch. Uh, before we start, we want to make sure that this is the right model number. This is the Chromebook version that was introduced in early 2014. And also, we can look up the model number on the back. If you look on the back, it says XE503C, also known as the 503C. And this is not to be confused with the first version of this laptop, which was the 303C. So this is the XE503C, and it is the 11.6 inch and not the 13.3 inch. Okay, so let's open up the laptop again. Once you close it and open it, it automatically turns on. So we want to make sure that it's turned off when we work on it. What you want to do is do a long press on the power button until it's turned off and the LED light is off. Once the LED light is off and it's turned off, the laptop is safe to work on. Before we start working on it, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate or grab any screws or cables. And we have a pointed hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape. Okay, so let's get started. The first order of business is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. Sometimes these have screws securing them. In this case, there's no screws securing the screen bezel. It just snaps on. So what we're going to do is snap off the screen bezel. We do that by putting our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lifting the screen edge up and out. Now there will be, sometimes there's adhesive, sometimes it just snaps off. In this case, it's snapping off, so we work our way around the screen like this, lifting up the bezel. And if he gets stuck on any part of it, just keep going, come back to that part later on. And we keep moving. Same thing on the bottom, just lift it up and snap out so so you just move it back and forth and the hinge cover comes off too so and it's off to snap it back on just put it in insert it in and just use your fingertips on the bottom and just snap it in like you unsnapped it before so once again tilt it forward and remove it. Okay, once we remove the screen bezel, for this type of screen, it's mounted with four mounting tabs, metal tabs on the side, and each tab is secured by one screw. So we take our electronic screwdriver, have the screen tilted back a little bit to make sure it doesn't fall on you, and remove the four screws. One, and let's get a little bit closer in. Two, and make sure that the screwdriver is engaged. Three, and the last one. Once we remove the four screws, we gently tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly 
and lay it down. Okay, for um, this type of screen, there's only one connector. It's on the bottom. And we want to lift up the tape to remove the connector. We use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up the corner of the tape. Yeah, or we can do it from the back where it's easy to grab it. And we grab it with our thumb and lift it up. Once we lift up the tape, what we can do is grab the connector and pull it back. But before that, what we see for this particular type of screen, it's a bar. There's a metal bar that we have to flip forward. And we can use our hobby knife to flip the bar forward. So we lift it up and we flip it forward. And what we do then is grab it by the bar and pull it backwards like so. Grab it by the bar and pull it backwards. I'm going to reconnect you to show you what a properly connected, connected screen looks like. So we position the connector again into the connector and snap it back in. You'll hear but not, you'll feel but not hear two snaps or two clicks when it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of the connection. Okay, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connection should look like. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection are flush with each other. So once again, we disconnect the screen and we take a look at it. This is a 11.6 inch LED slim screen with a 40 pin connector. Uh, this uses a older 40 pin connector instead of a newer EDP 30 pin connector. So you gotta take note on that. And let's look at the part number for this screen to look it up when you wanna find a replacement. It's B116XW03, and there is after a period it's blocked out, it should be 0.1. B116XW03.1. Now, most likely, the screen that you get in once you receive it, it won't have the exact same part number, but as long as the connector is the same size and the screen is the same shape it is compatible. The other thing that you need to notice about the screen is this particular screen has a matte finish instead of glossy finish. Uh, unless you specifically ask for it, most likely you'll get a glossy finish screen because this is more common, but uh, it will work perfectly fine and just like the other ones. Also, uh, for school districts, uh, school districts use the screen for their students a lot and uh, we do offer services to school districts for volume pricing and discounts and additional services so please contact us okay uh, on that note to purchase this screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out with your contact info and the model number and that will guide you to the right screen to buy online and um, we also ship to most countries outside the United States. So uh, just go through your regular checkout procedure and select your country. Also, in addition to the screen, our screens come with this free toolkit. And that comes with the screen that has all the tools you need to replace the screen. And finally, we have free shipping in the continental United States. So you'll get your screen in two or three days. Okay, once you do, receive the screen, reconnect the screen as I showed you, put the bar down, after that snap this bar down, mount the screen on the back of the screen assembly, screw in the four screws and snap the screen bezel back on. All in all, this is a fairly simple procedure and just about anyone can do it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. 
Thank you very much and good luck.